Bubble, bubble, bubble. You got good jam. Good job, Greg. Kelvin, the team hit, hit some rough spots early in the season, and you know you went off to an 0-3 start, but you got things turned around. What would what would you point to? What turned the football season around for the Bearcats? We started to play as a team. Uh, everybody stopped, I guess, whining and crying about the mistakes they made. They started working it hard on defense. Uh, my, my, my scout team, D, started giving me some more work as my pass block, and that helped me a lot on, on scout O. They gave us good looks, and everybody just came out, played as a team. We're playing as a family now, so we got to keep this composure up, and maybe we can get that division one title. What, were you, what would you point to as far as your strength as a running back? What do you think? What are the things you do well, do you feel? Uh, I, I love hitting the holes. I love north and south. I'm not the east. I'm not the type of go east and west. But uh, if there's a hole there, I'm, I'm taking it and I'm taking it hard and get out of my way. How special is this to be preparing for this Dallas Town game coming up Friday night? Uh, personally, this is very special for me because uh, last year we 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 went up there. I felt as though I had a 100-yard game up there. And I felt as though we could have won, but we, again, mental mistakes, and uh, we, we just didn't capitalize on, on the mistakes that we did. So this, this, is a, this is a special moment for me because it's my last year. It's my last homecoming. It's home, and I'm trying, trying to come out with a win. What are the keys for you guys Friday night? What do you have to do to beat Dallas Town? Just everybody play their position and, and do your job. Everybody needs to do their job and fill the gaps, and we're, we're good. We're good. What was going through your mind back in the spring when there was talk that the football program and all the other sports programs could be dropped here at York High? Devastating. That devastated me because if uh, we ain't had football, honestly, I wouldn't know where I would be right now. I honestly think I would be out with the negative influences in my life and doing stuff that they're doing, but... I'm glad they, they brought football back because this is this is making me a better man on in life basically. Like I'm trying to do better, trying to get out of here to go to college, do better for me, and I'm trying to take my family with me.